All right, hello, I am Ard and I will try to explain to you how general settings works in the bot Sapphire. Duration language, aka the ISO 6391 code, is the code that your bot is translated in. It might not be fully translated like here. Note that Sapphire is not translated into any other language yet. This will just update duration data. So that basically means you can update the language, but uh, it's a little bit of a question mark. So don't expect everything from it. Data format. This is how your dates in your bots look like. For example, if we go to my server and we go to link in description, please join, and we run guild info, then for example, this is created three months ago, which uses, okay, this is a very bad example, never mind, that, that uses time codes. I have no idea what, what this is for, but this is just date formats. So the D stands for day, which is a, a double number because a day doesn't go in triple numbers. And then month is also the double numbers, which is the M, M for month. And then Y, which means year, and a year is four numbers. So you have to do that four times. Then a dash, this is, this is for dividing the dates and the time. And then you have H, which is a capital. So that's a capital letter. And the M is a lowercase letter. The H stands for hour and the M for minute with a colon in between. So make sure to get that right, otherwise it might go wrong. Error log. If something wasn't working as expected, Sapphire will tell you here. Everything that goes wrong, every error is sent here. My error log of Artcord is empty because I clean my errors, but otherwise it would be full of them because there's like five errors per week here. Or it also tells you details with the errors. Maybe if we go to another server, let me see. Oh, here, 52 errors. There you go. This is a list of what errors look like. And if we click on a random one, Sephira was unable to delete a message in a channel, so it couldn't delete the welcome messages channel for some reason. Not the channel, the message. Let's go back to Artcord. Manager rules. These rules are fully able to manage Sapphire and its features. Be careful which ones you add. It's even displayed in the um, description of it, so please don't add this to like member rules or any rule lower than what I recommend admin. And the lowest rule that has this is a bot rule, two bot rules, and a temporary admin, and my admin and my owner. The rest, admin and the owner rule, which are me and my girlfriend. So I recommend, I highly recommend you add this to your staff only and specifically to admins plus. Advanced advanced permissions. Set up advanced permission for rules and users. You can add the rules and specific user IDs. You can go up to any user and you right click them and let's do, let's do, let's do clutches. You right click them, you click copy user ID. If you don't see this, did I just give him a rule on accident? If you can't see this, this copy user ID thing, then you go to your user settings. You go to advanced which is at the, at the bottom of app settings, and you enable developer mode. This has, to, this has to be enabled, otherwise it doesn't show up. So then you, you click copy user ID, and then you go back to your website, and then you paste the user ID here, and you click on the search icon. And then it finds that this, this user is called Clutchers. But otherwise you can just add any rule from your entire rule list. You can, you can pause and uh, copy everything I have for these rules, it doesn't, it matters a lot actually because these people have permission to use the website to configure the entire bot so i recommend setting it to that command permissions this is for the next video this is for commands and their permissions so we're, we'll not, we're not we're not going to cover that right now even though it's on this page instantly delete data when bot is kicked when you normally kick this bot by default sapphire deletes your server configuration data three days after it was kicked from your server Basically, if you kick the bot and this is enabled, then your entire data, all your configurations, all your messages, auto moderation settings, join rules, reaction rules, wel welcome messages, everything will be wiped once you kick the bot. So don't kick the bot. If you are in a server with grown-ups who are very uh, cautious about their privacy, then maybe this is useful. But otherwise, I don't see a reason why you would enable this. Because if someone accidentally kicks the bot, like you gave a 16-year-old admin and he accidentally kicks the bot instead of another user, then your entire configuration is gone. So I recommend you keep this off. And then backups, something you don't have to worry about. These are automatic backups of all servers. 
all these backups are, are for all servers. These are global backups, not from your specific server. These are automated and you can't backup your server by yourself manually, as far as I know. Unless you really need one of these backups for your server because you got wiped because <laughs> a 16 year old accidentally kicked your bot while this was enabled, then... Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you understand it. If you have any questions, please comment below or join my server, Artcord, link in description. And uh, I would love to help you there.